Oh no, you need to be careful though as a as a butler because as we all know from playing Tomb Raider, rich people with big mansions when they get annoyed at their butler lock them in the freezer. Yeah, that that's is what we true. all did in Tomb Raider. That was the only purpose of Tomb Raider Two was yep. to get that to get to that one bit. I did that about five thousand times. I probably did that more than I played the game. I think that was one of the most exciting parts of like the new Tomb Raider at the very end of like the last game. <laughs> they CGI back- Michael go in. It's <laughs> <laughs> cut back to Croft Manor and it's like the butler coming in with like the tea. And it's like, it's the butler! It's him! Like, it's- he, should have, he should have said like a little joke, like, oh, it's a bit chilly today. <laughs> well, he is shivering. <laughs> I think that might be... Like a, you could put it down to old age or it could be like, I've, I've just got out of the fridge, Miss Croft. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I should have had it just be Chris Barry. He was, like, he, was the, he was the butler in the movie. He was the so only was like, good oh. thing in that movie. Besides, I mean, the casting of Angelina Jolie was good. Mm. She looks the part. That's such a... Because, again, was, you know, those new Tomb Raider, two rebooted Tomb Raider games are, are great. Yeah, I still haven't played uh, the newest one. I mean, I've got it if you want to end of it. It's, like it's, it's just more of the same. But it's, uh, it's still good if you like that. Um, it's just more the, of the same. It's still good. <laughs> But they do have, um, like, because the Alicia Vikander movie is so strange to me, because, like, she's great in it. I love her as Lara Croft, but the only part of the movie's good is when she's in London, just sort of dicking around. <laughs> and it's she's not doing any adventuring, because that's when she gets to do all the dialogue. Mm. And she's a very charismatic kind of actress. So then when she actually goes to the island and is running around tomb raiding, it's really, really boring, because she's not saying anything. That should never just, be dull. Yeah, but it's it's just one of those things. Is like it was fun when you were playing it because you were actively engaged in the action and yeah. stuff. But this is just like watching someone playing a computer game, and it's just like that's never any fun. You <laughs> like, say that, I, but Twitch is a big thing to the kids. That, that is true. <laughs> Maybe if they have released Tomb Raider on Twitch, the, the Alicia Vikander Tomb Raider on Twitch, it would have been a much much bigger movie. That's you know? genius. Was it there? Who was it the? Was it Ben Wheatley's doing the sequel? That was the the weirdest thing ever. They're like, Ooh. oh, we are doing another one. And art house director Ben Wheatley of the Kill List. Mm. And then I'm um, interested. Because uh, that's bonkers. The fact these is like, I guess they they must have because like, oh, cut your budget down. You can do whatever you want. But he could do some weird stuff with like her investigating like cults and stuff like that. She he could do a genuinely scary tomb. Oh, there's always cults and scary things in the games. Yeah, so like after, I'm hoping that's the direction he's like, and that's why they've approached him. It's like, well, he did that stuff all about weird, like that field in England and stuff like that. That was very strange. It's very, very off-puttingly scary. So maybe give him like uh, this thing. But um, although he knows how to play ball too, because he did an episode of Doctor Who, and you'd never know that it was him. <laughs> it was just the most, you know, just paint by numbers episode ever. But um, well, actually, I just realised we've you mentioned it. 